Hello guys, welcome back to Sess Nook. This is Sess. So today I'm going to show you how I crochet the head of Holsey Doll and of course the beanie too. For the other parts, those who want to watch the videos of part 1 and part 2 wherein I showed how I crochet the legs and the body, okay, you can find the link on the description box below. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to comment on the comment box. I will try to answer as soon as possible. So for those who have not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope that you subscribe guys because anyway, it's free to subscribe and you learn a lot from my channel. Now let's begin crocheting the head. Enjoy watching. What I'm using here is a 4 ply milk cotton yarn and a 3mm crochet hook. So to begin the head, let's first make a magic ring. Okay, so Alright, now inside the ring, you're going to make six single crochet. Right, that's one single crochet. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then close the ring. And then after that, make one single crochet in the first stitch that you make. Okay, so here's the first stitch. Okay, so this is the beginning of round two. Alright, that first stitch okay that stitch that I made so I'm going to mark all right now what I'm going to do is make another single crochet in the same stitch so meaning I made two single crochet here in this stitch and I'm going to continue doing that making two single crochet in each stitch around so remember we made six in the beginning so uh, we're going to have a total of 12 single crochet in the second round single crochet so I'm going to make a single crochet in the stitch where I removed my marker and this is the beginning of round three okay so one single crochet in there in the first stitch and then increase in the second stitch meaning two single crochet in the second stitch one two all right so I'm going to repeat that I'm going to make one single crochet in the next and then two after that so that is the sequence you're going to follow until you finish this round okay so one two one two Alright, so here I'm going to make again one and in the next two again. All 
right now I'm in the last stitch and here I'm going to make two single crochet all right now we finished round three round four the sequence is one single crochet in two stitches and then increase in the third stitch so that means when I say increase that means two single crochet in the same stitch alright so one single crochet here in the first one one single crochet in the second stitch and in the third stitch two single crochet so that is the sequence one one two so you're going to repeat that until you reach the last stitch so every time we make increases the last stitch should always have two single crochet continue repeating the pattern one one two so in this round we should be able to make 24 single crochet I finished round 4 now I'm going to begin round 5 in round 5 the sequence is 1 1 1 and then increase alright 1 1 1 and then 2 and you're going to repeat the sequence 6 times okay so um, I'm not going to show you everything I assume as of now you already get the pattern right so every round you're going to add one in the one single crochet so here for example here it's one single crochet in three and then increase now in the next round one single crochet in four and then increase and so on and so forth until you are in the round wherein you need to make where in the sequence is one single crochet in 10 stitches and then increase in the 11th stitch okay anyway the pattern as you notice is right there at the top of the screen okay so you can just you can just follow that so I'm going to finish mine and you may pause this video for a moment and then play again once you reach the sequence one single crochet in 10 stitches and then increase all right enjoy crocheting guys finished this is a total of 12 rounds okay beginning the beginning the next round you're not going to make increases anymore okay just make one single crochet in each stitch okay and you're going to make <coughs> five rounds of that okay five rounds uh, with one single crochet no increases all right so I'll see you after the five rounds So okay I finished okay so I'm in the last stitch now this is the last round 
and here in the last stitch I'm going to change my yarn to flesh or skin tone okay so I completed my single my last single crochet there in that round using the skin tone yarn let's um let's make more rounds of one single crochet using the skin tone color so let's make 15 more rounds which is one single crochet okay so this is the first in this round the first stitch or the first single crochet in this round and I'm going to continue making single crochet so again make 15 more rounds using skin tone yarn or flesh yarn okay so stitch over the loose yarns okay so I already okay guys so I already finished the 15 rounds but I think I'm going to add five more rounds okay so I finished because I want what <laughs> total of 20 rounds from here okay starting from the skin tone color up to here I finished 20 rounds that's without increases but now I'm going to start making decreases okay so because we're going to start closing the head so uh, in the first stitch make one single crochet And then in the next five stitches, one single crochet. Okay, so that's a total of six starting from the marker. And the seven, eight, you're going to join. So that means you're going to make a decrease. All right, I'm going to repeat that. This is how I make a decrease. So insert the hook here in the top loop and in the next also in the top loop. Uh, pull the yarn, pull through two. And then yarn over, pull through two. All right. And that's the sequence you're going to follow. One single crochet in six stitches and then decrease and you're going to repeat that okay eight more times. Okay, so again I'm going to begin here, make one single crochet one, next two, three, four, five six and then decrease then keep doing that all right I am in the last decrease here in this round okay Next round, round what? 22. Round 22, the sequence is one single crochet in five stitches, starting here in the stitch with the marker, okay? One single crochet in five stitches and then decrease. So it's the second. Two, three, 
pipe and then decrease. And repeat the sequence around. Okay, so you're going to keep on making decreases. So here in this round, round 22, we may, our sequence is one single crochet in five stitches and then decrease. Round 23, one single crochet in four decrease in four stitches and then decrease. Round 24, one single crochet in three stitches and then decrease. Okay, and then you stop there. Okay, so I'll meet you after we finish that round, round 24. Okay? All right, now last round. The decrease or this, the sequence is one single crochet in four stitches and then decrease. Okay, so again, one single crochet in four stitches and then decrease. So, one single crochet here. Two, three, four, and then decrease. And re repeat around. Okay, so I'm at the end of this round and uh, decrease there. And then in the next round, just make one single crochet in each stitch around. No more decreases. So this should have a total of 30 single crochet. Okay, so. Okay, so before anything else, I'm going to put or stuff it with stuff it with fiber fill cotton all right okay okay and now just add two more rounds of one single crochet without increases or decreases yeah just one single crochet around in each stitch okay so two two rows or two rounds of that and oops okay so two rounds or rows and then we're done. All right. So okay. So I finished all, and now I'm just gonna make a slip stitch here. Okay. Chain one, and now I'm gonna cut my yarn, leaving a very long tail to sew this to the neck or body. Okay, so now it's time to crochet the beanie. For the beef, I'm going to use my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and okay, I'm going to begin by making a magic ring. Right now, chain one. Okay. 
Okay, in the ring, I'm going to make six single crochet. Yes, Max. Eat your food. Eat your food, baby. Okay, so six single crochet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Pull the loose yarn to close the ring. And then in the first single crochet, make make a slip stitch okay now chain one and in the same stitch make one single crochet actually two single crochet make two single crochet so here's one and here's Two. So the first one I'm going to mark the first single crochet. I'm going to mark it. So this is the start of round two. So I'm going and I'm going to continue making two single crochet in each stitch. So that's a total of 12 single crochet in round two. Okay, and now in the first stitch in the last round, make a slip stitch. And that's the end of round two. Chain one. Now, round three, make one single crochet in the first stitch. Mark it. And in the next stitch, make two single crochet. One, two. So repeat the sequence around. One, two. Here you should have a total of, of 18 single crochet. Three, four, Five. Round four, the sequence is one, one, two. Okay, so in the first stitch, make one single crochet, mark it, and the second stitch, one single crochet, and in the third stitch, two single crochet. Two. Okay, so that is the sequence. You're going to repeat five more times in this round. Okay, one, one, two. Finished the fourth round, and in the fourth round, I made a total of 24. In this, uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to start round five. And this round, the sequence is one, 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 two. So one single crochet in the first three stitches and then increase in the fourth stitch. And you, you're going to do that six times. Okay, one, two, three, and then here. And increase one two so this round should have a total of 30 single crochet 
I finished round five and round six. Okay, this is the last round I'm going to make increases. So one single crochet in the first four stitches and then increase in the fifth stitch and repeat that sequence around one two three four and then increase using this kind of yarn is just a bit difficult um <clears throat> because you won't you you he won't see the stitches or the spaces okay so you just have to feel it okay so like for example here after I made my two single crochet in the next stitch I'm going to make one and there I'm, I'm feeling the next space here and there's where I'm going to make a single crochet two three Now it's time to stop making increases. So from round seven, we're not going to make increases anymore. Okay, so in round seven, just make one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm now in the last stitch. In the last stitch, I'm going to change the color and even the, the kind of yarn I'm going to use. Okay, so this is beige or cream. This is cream, or, yeah. So I'm going to finish my last single crochet by using this cream yarn and or beige yarn all right and now I'm going to continue so one single crochet in each stitch around all right okay so there you go one You leave the brown, okay, the brown yarn and stitch over the beige one and continue. So make one single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 36. Okay, that's two. I'm going to mark the first one. Okay, so two. three four okay so one more time I'm going to make one single crochet using the cream yarn so here is the start I'm going to crochet in the back loop only Okay, just in the back loop. Okay, so I'm in the last stitch. So in this stitch, I'm going to change the color of my yarn again. I'm going to use again the brown. All right and I'm gonna continue making one single crochet in each stitch around in the normal way okay make one single crochet in the normal way so that means not it not just in the back loop but in the two loops okay so there it is the beginning and I'm going to continue 
um, okay you have to release the cream yarn okay we're going to use that again <clears throat> two three four okay so I'm in the last stitch and I am again changing my yarn to cream so release the brown pull the cream and then make a single crochet in each stitch around So re repeat what you just did here okay so that means after you finish one round of cream you're going to uh, make one single crochet around again using the cream and remember to make a single crochet in the back loop only uh, in that second round and then after that you're going to change again your yarn to brown and yeah but don't do that yet okay just finish the two rounds of cream and then i'll show you what how what to do with the brown after that i finished the two rounds of the cream using the cream and now i'm going to change my yarn again to brown All right, and okay, I'm going to make one single crochet in the first stitch, okay, all right, and now here. I'm going to cut the cream yarn now. All right, so I made one single crochet in the first stitch, and in the second, okay, I'm going to make a total of nine single crochet. So one. Okay, stitch over the loose yarn, right? And single crochet the normal way. Okay, so stitch the normal way here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, in the tenth stitch, make a slip stitch right there and then make one two three four twenty five okay so i made 25 chains and then in the first oh i'm sorry in the second chain from the hook make a slip stitch Okay, and continue doing that until you reach the very first chain that you made. Alright. Don't stitch tight, okay? Remember not to stitch tight.
Okay, so I'm, I'm in the last chain now. All right. Now, after that, in the stitch, okay, in the same stitch where you started making chains, make a slip stitch there too. Okay. And then make one single crochet in 16 stitches. One, two. Okay. So 16 single crochet here. And now slip stitch in the next stitch. And again make. 25 chains one and of course uh, make us make slip stitch in each and each chain until you reach this part and continue making one single crochet until you finish this round Okay, so now I'm done crocheting the bini. So here I'm just going to make a slip stitch here. Chain one and cut my yarn. Okay. And I'm just going to weave this loose yarns. Don't forget to weave also the one here inside. So weave the loose yarns to to hive. So now the bin is done, and let's go back to the head now. So I cut yarns with 19 or 19 to 20, 20 inches length. Okay, this is um, what I'm going to use for the hair. So I'm going to fold like this. All right, and we'll. Of course, you have to leave the front wherein you're going to embroider the face, okay, the eyes, for that matter. And so you're going to put from the side here on, okay, till here you have to leave, like I said, the front, okay. This is going to be the face, and I'm going to begin here on the side. Okay, so simply insert your hook there. All right. Choose a smaller size of hook so it's easier to insert. And yeah, just pull through and then yarn over, pull through. So that's it. Okay, and you continue doing that. So it's up to you how thick you want your the hair of the doll. So Okay, so now, right, so now guys, I already have put all that I need, and what we're going to do next is, yeah, so this, okay, here,
just make sure that these two tails here are there right on the sides okay of the face like so Again, make sure, make sure that the needle okay here the needle won't show here outside okay the needle won't show there so that the yarn the pink yarn won't show too once you pull it Just go on um, you have to weave all the way uh, going back here and then you're going to fasten once you reach the start you're going to fasten your your yarn and hide the loose yarn. And now, what we need to do is embroider the eyes here, and of course, put mouth and nose, and of course ears. Okay.